This is Chrissy Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today I'm going to be talking about Benjamin Moore Ben interior paint and primer in one. I had the opportunity to uh, use about 25 gallons of this paint to give a good thorough review on it. I sprayed it, I ran it through a Titan Interfeed roller, and I brushed and rolled it so I got some pretty good experience using it to give this review. Is this a product that do-it-yourselfers should use? Is it a product that professional painters should use? If you want to know if you should spend your hard-earned money on this paint, I'm going to tell you right here in this video. To go over the product now and give you just some of my thoughts on the product really quick, I did spray it with an airless sprayer on ceilings. I sprayed it on uh, multiple different types of ceilings, textured ceilings. I also sprayed, sprayed it on drop ceiling, on acoustic ceiling. And I gotta say, on the ceilings, it covered absolutely amazing, covered it in one coat. I sprayed it over water damage that was prime, covered in one coat. I didn't feel a whole lot of fallout. I think it, it sprayed. Uh, very, very well. It, when it dried, there was no flashing, there was no lap mark, so I was very impressed with it spraying on ceilings. I did use an eggshell, and an eggshell is very forgiving when it comes to spraying on ceilings, so I was very impressed with how it actually sprayed. All right, now I'm gonna talk about running it through a Titan Interfeed roller. So I got to roll it on walls, pre-painted walls. I also got to roll it on uh, primed, uh, uh, wallpaper and so two different substrates I use it on running it through an interfeed roller now um, over the primed uh, dr uh, the primed wallpaper it was two coats it uh, covered very well I would say spraying it it was definitely one coat spraying it and it sprayed absolutely amazing on the primed drywall or the primed wallpaper there was a lot of color in the wallpaper so a lot of color showing through the primer it was definitely two coats but it covered 100% you know in two coats on the other walls we were going basically off-white over off-white it was uh, almost covered in one coat as a professional painter I always typically two coat everything but if you're going on a white on a white you could almost cover it in one coat so I do got to say spraying it and running it through an interfeed roller and then we actually just ran it through a roller doing cut-ins on um, four inch roller and some places where we actually roll the walls it covered very, very well. So I was definitely impressed with the coverage of this product. So another thing I'll talk about too is one thing that annoys me more than anything is products that splatter. And so cheap paints, cheap rollers, the combination is the worst thing you can run into and that's gonna cause a lot of splattering. Now I actually sprayed it on ceilings no hardly any fallout at all i rolled it with an interfeed roller which um, is typically the roller itself will cause a little bit of splatter there was some splattering but doing the cut ends rolling it with a high quality like woven pro roller i was extremely extremely impressed it was very low splatter so it acted like a good hot high quality paint that i would expect it to be so another thing I want to talk about when it comes to Benjamin Moore Ben is the ability for it to touch up. So I, like I said, I used 25 gallons of the product and I didn't box all 25 gallons together, which is, you know, you shouldn't do. So if you want your paint to touch up well, you should always box your paints. But when we're spraying, we're doing running rollers, we're running sprayers, um, we're doing cut-ins, multiple people doing things, sometimes it's not always of ideal where you can actually box your paints so we didn't box the paints and i gotta say after the job was all done when we walked through and went through and did touch-ups in the middle walls on corners on ceilings you could not see anywhere where we touched up the paint so i was extremely impressed with the touch-up ability because there's nothing worse than you know um going and doing all the work on a wall uh, realizing you have a touch up right in the middle of the wall and touching it up and, it, and leaving a mark or a spot like a halo, a color difference or a sheen difference right in the middle of that wall and having to re-roll that wall. So I was definitely impressed with the ability for this paint to touch up. So another thing I want to touch on when it comes to the product itself, I chose an eggshell sheen. I like lower sheens and Benjamin Moore eggshell sheen typically looks pretty nice and we're, we're repainting it inside of an office complex and we got a lot of different substrates. Uh, we got you know, wallpaper, we got painted walls, we've got um, texture we had to go over that was bare. So I, I definitely wanted a sheen that was gonna look nice. It was gonna be easy to touch up and it was just gonna look consistent through, throughout the building. But also it, it is a high traffic building because it is an office building. So um, being an eggshell, the lower the sheen, uh, the 
the more scuff marks you're gonna get and the more wear and tear you're gonna have you know, on your walls. But this is a scuff resistant product and that was one of the reasons why I chose Benjamin Moore on this, pro on this project because I needed uh, a low sheen but I also wanted a scuff resistant sheen. And Benjamin Moore Ben actually has that quality added right into it. So now I'm gonna go over some of the technical data on Benjamin Moore Ben. It's an acrylic blended latex paint. Uh, in the technical data sheet, they call it a proprietary acrylic. Uh, the solids on it is 38.8% .8 solids, which is really good for an interior paint. The coverage on it, it gets anywhere from 400 to 400 square feet. 450 square feet per gallon, which is actually quite a bit. So if you get one coat, it's gonna cover uh, cover a lot. And so it's gonna save you quite a bit of money over paints that don't cover very well. It has a dry time of one hour to the touch and then two hours of recoat. I gotta say we were uh, recoating and doing two coats, you know, in the same day, which saves you a lot of time as a professional painter. And that's extremely important. So now as Benjamin Moore Ben, a uh, product that I would rec recommend to professional painters. Now some of the you know key points about the product that are important when it comes to you know uh, paint for professional painters. You know does it cover well? Does it dry fast enough so you can recode? And does it touch up? Those are uh, some really key elements. You know when it comes to um, a product and being beneficial to professional painters, and it performed extremely well in those three categories. Price, it's a very reasonable price paint, you know, when it comes to um, interior paint for, you know, professional painter, if the paint is just way overpriced, then it's gonna be difficult to be profitable as a painter, but it sprayed well, it rolled well, it covered well. So I, I would definitely, you know, highly recommend the product. I think it's a great product from Benjamin Moore.